In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure app pages within BuddyBoss app. App pages are a special kind of page that display only within your app and do not display on the WordPress front end. We expect you to use an app page to create your home page, which behaves as a kind of user dashboard within our demo. App pages can also be used to create general purpose content specifically for your app, such as this privacy policy page and also this terms of service page. Note that you can also add WordPress pages into the app. However, app pages provide some key benefits over WordPress pages within the app. App pages can be cached within the app, which means they will load faster. And more importantly, we've created a number of Gutenberg blocks specifically designed for the app experience, as you're seeing here on this homepage. These special blocks can only be used within app pages. Now let's go into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to create app pages and how to configure our app specific Gutenberg blocks. I will also show you how to insert your app page into the tab bar. Here we are in the WordPress admin at Buddy Boss app, app Pages. From here, I can add new app pages and I can modify existing ones. This one here is our home page. I'm going to delete it so we can rebuild it from scratch, and then we'll be able to view the new home page from within the app. So now let's go ahead and click on Add New. And I'm going to call this page Home. And then let's click on Publish. And I'm going to quickly switch this preview mode to mobile, since of course we'll be viewing this page later within an app. Okay, so let's add some blocks to our page. Anytime you see this mobile app icon in a block, it means we've taken special care to support this block type in our app. And over time, this list will grow. If you want to use unsupported WordPress blocks, or if you want to use page builders, you can still do that by using a normal WordPress page. But these app blocks are going to render in React Native and create a really nice experience when used on your app pages. Most of these blocks are coming from WordPress and are used for formatting and for media uploading. And then if we scroll down here, we have our BuddyBoss app blocks. We have six blocks that are related to BuddyBoss platform functionality, which are forums, forum discussions, groups, members, and activity, and notifications. And then we have two blocks related to LearnDash, which are courses and H5P. And then we also have this quick links block, which lets you create a menu of quick links to app content and also to outside URLs. So let's start by adding this members block. And then we'll come back here and add our activity block. And you can see that we're giving you a nice representation of approximately what the blocks will look like when viewed in the app. And then if I click here, we can go view the block settings. And then coming down here, I can set how many activity posts to show and also what types of activity to display. Most of our blocks have options like this. I can also rename the block, so I'll call it news feed. And then we can come back here and add our courses block. We can see it's displaying in a grid view. And then to make it look more like our demo, we can also apply a background color to this block. So we can set a color here. I'll choose a custom color. This is the color we're using in our demo, F6, F6, F8. But of course, you're free to pick any color that matches your app's color scheme. And then this H5P block here is used for displaying H5P content for creating interactive games and quizzes. It's really designed to be used within LearnDash courses, but you could also use it within an app page if that makes sense for your app design. I'll skip this block for now. I have another video tutorial that goes into great detail about how to use the H5P block, so do watch that video if you're interested. Moving on, let's add our forums block. And then we can come here and add discussions. And we could also go ahead and add groups. You'll notice that groups are displaying in a grid view, similar to how we present courses. So let's go ahead and add the background color to this groups block as well. So we'll come back here. And then we can come back here and add notifications. All right, so now we've added all of our social blocks and the learn dash blocks. Let's go ahead and add our quick links block. This block is pretty cool. It allows us to add a menu of quick links to internal app content and also to external websites and apps. So let's go ahead and add our first link. And then we can click here to reveal the link settings. 
We'll keep this link as a logged in menu. And then for the link destination, we'll select profile. So now this link will take the logged in user into their own profile. Let's add another menu. And for this one, we can select notifications. We'll add one more and set this one as courses. And then let's do just one more. But for this one, I'm going to select custom link URL. For this link URL, we're going to use the Buddy Boss YouTube page. So I'll go ahead and paste that link in here and I'll call the link YouTube. And for any of these menus, we can actually swap the icon. So for this one, I'm going to click here and we'll go ahead and use this YouTube icon. And then let's update the page. There is still one more step before we can view this page in our app. We'll need to add the page into either the tab bar or the more screen as a menu item. So let's do that now. Here we are at Buddy Boss App Branding tab bar. We can click here to switch to the more screen, but I actually wanna add this menu into our tab bar, so I'm gonna stay here. And then if I come down here, you can see that currently we have three menu items plus a more tab. And if we come over here to app pages, we can grab our home page and add it to the menu. And then let's reorder it so it's the first tab. And if I open this, we could rename the tab to something else. And I can also click here to change the icon. Since this is an app page, it's defaulting to using this page icon, but we'll come up here and switch it to the home icon. And let's click use this icon. And then let's scroll down and click on update. And if I scroll down here, you can see that we do have a preview down here of how the tabs will look in our app. But let's go check it out now in the real app. Now let's hard quit this app so we can see our newly added homepage. So we can see all of our social blocks are looking really beautiful and they're also highly functional. For example, on members, I can tap on see all and it takes us into the members directory. And then we have our newsfeed. And if I scroll down, we have our courses block, which is looking really cool with our sliding grid of courses. And then I can tap on see all. And our forums block is looking great. We have our forum discussions. And here we have our groups in a grid as well. And our notifications. I can tap a notification to open it. And then if we come down here, we'll find our quick links block. So I can tap on profile and it will take me to my profile. I can come back and tap on notifications. And from here, I can see all of my notifications, of course. And we can tap on courses. And then let's try this YouTube link. And it's asking me if I want to open the link externally or within the app. Let's try in app. You can see it's loading our URL as a website within the app. Let's try again, but this time we'll select external. And you can see that because this link is linking to a YouTube page, my phone actually launched that page within the YouTube app, which is pretty cool. This will only work if the external app being linked to supports opening from links. And if the user already has that app on their phone. In most cases, an external link will open as a website within your phone's default browser, which is generally going to be Safari for iOS and Chrome for Android. So as you can see, these app pages are really powerful and make it really easy to customize your app experience. And we hope you enjoy using them.